Sweetheart. Selfless. Bubbly. It would be potato. Precious. Ditzy. Nice. <laughs> Tremendous. Uplifting. Princess. <laughs> Genuine. Extravagant. One encompass the word wonderful. Sweet. Warm hearted. Smiley. <laughs> Goofy. <laughs> Graceful. Joyful. Joyful. Sweet. I have two words for her. I would say she's lovely and classy. But diligent. I don't think I could describe Jacqueline in one word. I think it would take a few more than that. Well, Jacqueline, it's, I guess I would say through your cheerfulness and your happiness, that's always been a sort of uplifting thing in the studio. When you've come for practice or rehearsal or I've seen you in the hallway, you've just been bubbling over it's just as if you've gotten the last uh, piece of great news from around the world or someplace. So keep that, uh, that characteristic strong. I know that your friends, your, uh, your, the ones that you'll be working with down the road, will appreciate it very much. Um, it is impossible to be in a bad mood around Jacqueline because she just has such a compassionate spirit and she's so uplifting to be around and I wouldn't trade my friendship with her for the world. Jacqueline is a very simple person and she's like always happy like all the time and it brightens my day whenever she just comes in and is like always smiling and no matter what um, is going on in her life she's just like always smiling always sees the right things in life and um, always like sees like um, the simple things um, and how like the simple things like bring her joy and so that um, makes me happy and like makes me think of um, how like I need to look at like what the simple things in my life are and like how I need to see um, and be grateful for like those little things and how I take them for granted. That's what Jacqueline has taught me, how she's impacted my life. Oh, she's, I think she's really aided in my love for like worship music because um, she just brings a different, whenever we play together, um, she brings like a different aspect to whenever we're playing because she's usually the only girl, so she brings a different light to it and she brings a different personality and it's really good to see um, what she has to say and what she has to do, so she has impacted my love and my passion. So. She brought us a lot of laughters and then good memories into our life and I'm really glad to have met Jacqueline here. I think Jacqueline's been a good example to me and that she's just really nice to people and she's not afraid to go talk to someone new or make friends or she's just really considerate of people and I really like that about her. Jacqueline actually introduced me to all of my friends here. Um, she had first class with one of my really close friends now and introduced us. God has truly blessed me by putting Jacqueline in my life. Um, before I met Jacqueline, honestly, I didn't have many friends. And I met her at a Dean Al trip and she just acted like we were, we'd known each other for forever. She brought me into her community group and introduced me to all these people. and. She's just been such a godly example in my life, and I just appreciate having have met her. She's always happy, and she always has the right word to say. Jacqueline has greatly impacted my life. Um, she has been such a positive influence, a bright smile to see every morning, uh, someone to run with when I don't want to, um, just a wonderful friend all the way around, and she's show me to enjoy the simple things and that and all things there's truly something beautiful. Just doing ministry with her has just been so uh, rewarding and I'm so thankful for now having this friendship with her and then um, even possibly working in the summer with her. Um, I'm just very grateful for that opportunity and I'm just thankful to have known her. I feel like there are a few times when she's probably she's influenced me to be a better person because um, I see the way that she's devoted to doing her uh, homework and the way that she's devoted to serving other people and um, 
that's inspirational to me. You've just impacted me by not only making me like a better person, but just making me a better follower of Christ, a better friend, a better a better host, a better cook at family dinner. Um, there's a lot of improvement to be had there, but you have just made me better. She is such a positive person and she's very innocent. And it's not in an innocent way um, that there's like a sense of gullibility to it. It's that, you know, she sees the bad things and the negativity and just chooses not to be a part of it and chooses to be her own person regardless of what situation she's in. Um, Jacqueline, you've definitely uh, helped me look at the positive side on things. Um, I always, if I was ever down or anything, you always had the positive point to point out and that was always really awesome, so thank you for that. I would uh, just say that she's an example uh, to me and just to all people. Again, with her joy and with her smile in the Lord and uh, happiness uh, that she brings to people. She's always laughing or smiling, so she definitely makes uh, people's day just a little better. Uh, we have the uh, same class in the theory, and uh, uh, last semester we have the elementary, the music ship, this class. And uh, every time the Dr. Moore gave back the uh, my homework or the test um, or the I answer the question is good she will say oh you are, you are good and or good job and she will uh, say economic me or no it's a, it encourage me or yeah it's like that <laughs> you have impacted my life in so many ways I don't think I've ever had um, a better friend than you've been to me You've really shown me like what it means to be a really godly woman and just a good person and a good friend. And people see you as this perfect person, and you are though. But I like to see you and think, oh, but she also has these flaws, but they make you even better. And I just, I've seen through you how to embrace those things and that you're just this wonderful godly person. Uh, Jacqueline's impacted my life uh, just along the way. Uh, as a reminder that uh, you see young students say, uh, like Jack when they come to Campbellsville, they're motivated, talented, you know, do things like sing, play the keyboard, uh, wanting to take on the, uh, it's a pretty re big responsibility to, to say, I'll uh, coordinate what we as a ministry are trying to do to reach out to freshmen. And so, um, you know, that's, uh, that's affirming to, to find students who are uh, capable and then willing to step into those roles of responsibility and do that. Jacqueline, like I said, was sweet and she's constantly so kind and caring and giving and I think just in the back of my mind sometimes I really do think like how would she react in a situation like this and even when I would be nervous about singing or performing she would constantly remind me like it's not for me, it's not for the people but it's for the Lord and I think she always instills that in people to just serve and love and she just walks her faith wonderfully and it's a nice thing to see. Um, she's impacted my life um, definitely in a positive way that she's always been there for me um, especially with different things that's went on um, the past year and a half but she's always been an encouragement and has always just been the best of friend to me and has always took the time to ask me how I was and how I was doing and so I really appreciate that. Uh, she has been um, a good model, I think, as for a student, but also um, knowing about her background. Her and I have talked several times how um, we're homeschooling, my wife and I are homeschooling our children. And it's just it's really neat for me to see uh, somebody who's been through this process and to see where they are and the results of them um, going through the homeschooling process and going to college. And uh, it's just somebody I, I would I uh, hope that my daughter would be like when she gets to be that age. There are a lot from tennis, but I think it's the day that we beat St. Catherine. We beat them both in tiebreakers, and then Kyle was awkward, but that was every day at tennis. So. Making fruit pizza at Meg's house for family dinner. I think there were two things, probably finding out she was homeschooled and um, when we were uh, 
me, Jacqueline, Elvis, and Devin Bishop were in the library one time at the end of last semester, and we were talking about what exactly music is. Um, she seemed extremely smart at that moment. I have a couple, but I would say singing with her in Oasis because she always played the piano for me, and I love that, and that was so fun to worship with her and be with her in that way. And then the second one would be when I got to highlight her hair at school because that was really cool and I loved doing it and I felt honored that she would want to come see me. Whenever we were watching The Sound of Music and drinking hot chocolate, it was fun. Right now I would say this concerto that she is doing. She's worked really hard this semester to learn a Mozart piano concerto and I'm enjoying working with her in this concerto and playing with her in this piece. Going swimming with her um, at the pool. Um, I remember the first time we both swam 1,000 meters, and that was pretty awesome. We always encouraged each other to be the best. And so, yeah. My favorite memory with Jacqueline is when I knew her for the very first time. We only knew each other for like two weeks, and we went to this Junior Miss competition at Taylor County High School, and we thought it was the most hilarious thing we had ever seen, and we laughed so hard that we cried. And I knew then and there that she would be a very close friend for many, many years. Recently we were able to go swimming together and just hang out and, you know, work out and talk about that and it was, it was one of the only times we ever got to have one-on-one -on -one time, um, so I really appreciated that. Last semester I with her have the piano ensemble and uh, we have the uh, good little recital. One of my favorite memories with you would have to be when we were laying in our beds last semester and we might have gotten a little panicky because we weren't hanging out with a lot of people and we weren't doing this stuff and we both started like hysterically laughing and might have been crying because we weren't doing stuff and to this day we still refer to the stuff and that was a really great time together. Going to Gatlinburg and getting to spend a wonderful time with her. Uh, probably serving on BCM Council together. Uh, she definitely uh, just has a passion for the Lord and it's been a blessing to get to serve alongside her and watch her uh, lead community groups and lead uh, some freshmen uh, closer to the Lord. I like to remember how we would practice in the practice room with Stephen and we'd get to laughing and just talking and like our whole practice session would be just about nothing and we wouldn't even practice but it was fun. My favorite memory with Jacqueline was going to the opera. First one will be the BCM video when she was the star of it and she was like they had her speaking a bunch of times and the second one would be when we went to a church in Danville and she drove and we just had a good old time in the car and we had popcorn together and I'm going to start crying but it's fine and we um, yeah just had a good time listening to music and then obviously always enjoy playing with her because she's a great musician. So, yeah. I still remember the first time I heard her playing Brahms intermezzo and uh, in the performance I was very um, touched and very moved because she's, she's a music minor and then she performed with all her heart and with all her soul and that was very touching. My favorite memory with Jacqueline would be when we took a spontaneous trip to London last semester and the whole, we were like in our Frozen phase, we just watched the movie Frozen and I got the CD um, and we literally sang Love's an Open Door for the entire duration of that trip and we memorized all the words and we went back and forth like I would be Elsa or Anna and Jacqueline you would be um, Hans, I think is his name. I don't really remember. No, the other one. What's his name? Well, you know, the cute one. And sometimes it would switch, but we, we discovered that I was better at uh, Anna. And we just sang it forever. And it was good. And I'll never be able to sing that with anybody else because no one is as good as you and you're irreplaceable. Uh, one of my favorite memories with Jacqueline's probably whenever we did the Break a Social Norm at Walmart where we ran around in wings and all that we have. We have wings on and little bunny ears and stuff. That's probably one of the things that stick out about her. I have a lot of them, but my favorite one is whenever I could make you laugh. And uh, that because when you laugh, you always cry. And that's always my favorite because I could never, ever have a better person every time. 
that I just tell a joke or something just stupid that she laughs until she cries. And I would say those memories are my favorite about you. Jacqueline, I will miss you and uh, you, uh, you need to uh, come back, see me is in the future and uh, I hope you have the good life and uh, have the good friends in, the, in your new college. Definitely just stay cool and stay true to who you are because you're a great person and you shouldn't change. Well, Jacqueline, it's been a great pleasure to have you in the piano ensemble and to see you in piano repertory class and occasionally in the hallway. You've been an energetic young lady who has taken your part seriously and that has been a rewarding aspect not only for me as the instructor but for your fellow students as they've, uh, they've played in duet and ensemble literature with you. So we want to wish you all the best and a wonderful time. We may all need your counseling for dieting later on, so don't forget us. We'll look forward to seeing you again. I am so happy for you, and I'm so proud of you for uh, making big decisions and becoming independent and being your own person. And these decisions are hard, but they shape who we are. And I'm just really proud that um, you are taking this step of faith and trusting the Lord in all that He's doing while you are venturing off to Murray, um, and I'm definitely going to have to come visit you. Jacqueline, I'm going to miss you very much. Like I said, I'm going to miss your positivity, and I'm going to miss having someone to give my burnt popcorn to when I keep it in the microwave for too long. So I will miss you very much, but I know this won't be the last of seeing you, and there will be visits, but I love you, and I'm going to miss you as a housemate. Jacqueline, look at me, all right? I'd like to say to you that you are so talented and you're a great musician, but you're even a, a better friend and you're even a better sister in Christ. And I'd like to thank you just for um, being real and being honest with everyone and, and don't change. Uh, I'm going to miss you so much. I just don't know how I'm going to do it without you because you're like kind of like a rock that I go to because you're so faithful and um, you're such a good friend and I've not had a friend quite as good as you are to me so it's um, it's a loss but I know that you'll be happy at Murray and I'll be praying for you. Well Jacqueline um, you've been a great friend and uh, you still will be friends because you know the whole Murray thing I'll be down to Murray and stuff to visit but um, one thing I want to tell you that you've been a really good friend this semester and last semester it's been great playing with you in Oasis um, it's always been great looking back at you and just making fun of you in music theory class and stuff and uh, trying to compare answers all the time see who got the better grade and you were always better at your training granted yes but I think I got the hand on the, uh, the written assignments but um, I'm really gonna miss you just not as just you being my study partner or something or going to do homework together but me just hanging out at your place and stuff and just uh, watching movies with the whole gang and uh, going bowling that one night it was fun um, but all just those little experiences you were a great friend and you, I hope we still re remain friends so that I love her with all of my heart and that she's going to bless so many people that she comes into contact with in the future and that God's grace is going to follow her wherever she goes you just keep following the Lord, stay passionate for the Lord, and uh, serve while you're there. I know uh, there will be many opportunities to serve the Lord and tell people about the Lord, uh, definitely in a state university, and where Jesus is not, I guess, prominent like it is here in Campbellsville. So uh, stay faithful, follow your dreams, and don't forget about the important people here in Campbellsville. Good luck, I know you'll do great, and have a great time. I just want to say that I hope you have so much fun at your new school, and I think that it's wonderful that you are trusting in the Lord in this situation, because that is such a scary thing. Change is a big deal, and I know you're leaving wonderful friends that you have here. Your roommates are all beautiful people, and I know that it's going to be hard and sad, but to do something that you know that God wants you to do, and that you feel is right in your heart, is a very mature and just 
very godly thing to do because you know that you're going to go serve him and love him and love his people through what you want to do with your life. So I'm proud of you and I cannot wait to hear all about it. But I would just encourage you to uh, get connected with BCM down there. The uh, BCM director down there is a guy named Jonathan Clark. He's wonderful. Uh, he's a graduate of Murray, so uh, you know he's going to have a connecting point with anyone who goes to school there. Uh, but uh, you know to continue to find that avenue to have ministry, uh, not only a place to to be discipled, but to have a chance to disciple other people. So. That I love her so much, and that she will be in my prayers. And I'm so thankful that I met her. And I know that God is going to bless her wherever she goes. And he's going to use her through a lot of people's lives. I want to tell you that even if your heart is so broken about leaving me, don't, don't let it be. Because we're going to continue our friendship. We're going to stay in touch. And if we don't, you can watch this video and then pretend like we are. Jacqueline, you need to stay in contact with us here. If you don't, I will be upset with you. Uh, it's been great having you around. It's been, you've been a blessing to everyone here. Uh, everyone here loves you. Um, it's, it's been wonderful getting to know you, but if you are not staying in contact with us, I will be mad at you. I love you so much, and I'm so um, sad to see that you, you are leaving us, and, um, and that you're going to have so many adventures in Murray. And um, I know that God put you in my life for a special reason. You've impacted me a lot. And um, I know that, you're, that you have a purpose in Murray. And I know that you're going to do great things in Murray. And I'm really um, excited that you have a new adventure. Um, please come back and see us because we're going to miss you. And we're going to come see you. So, Jacqueline, we all love you. And you're amazing. And you better come back and visit because we're going to miss you a lot. And you're awesome. We will miss you. Um, I hope you continue to play piano. I'm sure you will. hope you'll consider being a piano major or minor at your new school and come back and visit us sometime. Always remember we love you and we are all your big sisters and friends and this is a shoulder that you can cry on. I wish you could stay but I know that it's for the best that you don't. And I'm just really glad that I got to meet you and we got to be pals for even two years. And I'll see you again. It's just goodbye. You're not you're not dead or anything. So so there's that. But Dormit, I just I love you, Jacqueline. I just wanna say that she's an amazing friend and that she's gonna do awesome and amazing things in life and at Murray State and that we will stay in touch and that I am so blessed to know her and that um, if she ever needs anything, I'm only a phone call or a text away and that we will stay in touch for sure. And I just want you to know that I love you with all my heart and uh, you have um, made my life um, so very special. Wrong with beautiful bean footage. We were paired in the same group. I don't want to do this one anymore. Okay, you don't have to. <laughs> Sorry, do I need to restate the question? No, you're fine. I don't? No. You sure? And I would like to thank you for the get well soon napkin. Come on, something? Okay. Okay, let me take a picture of you really fast. I want to see how this looks because I don't know where to put my arms. No, don't do that one yet because I haven't worn it in my head. Okay, fine. Alright, hold on. Hey, can you sit back how you were? <laughs> okay. Jasmine has impacted my. Oh, hold on. You have impacted. That would be good. The blue. Hold on, wait. Are you ready? If you could describe Jacqueline in one word, what would it be? <laughs> I forgot my answers. She going to Mark Murray? Yes. I always get Murray and Moorhead mixed up. Murray. Cut. 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 <laughs> Aloud! Vocal! Cut! <laughs> <laughs>
You can leave if you want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My favorite memory with Jacqueline was like the first two weeks of knowing her, and we went to start over then. Well, just keep going. Did can I start over? What? Like just start the whole thing over and talk about her. Oh, that's fine. Oh, we're just awesome and <laughs> warm blooded. Jacqueline! <laughs> Make sure you get a boyfriend next month. Oh, shit. Sure. <laughs> oh, I was like. Make sure you kiss somebody and then you tell me about it. Okay, okay. Right. Love's an open door. Our mental synchronization can't have the one explanation. You and I weren't just meant to be. Say goodbye to the pain of the past. We don't have to feel it anymore. Love's an open door. <laughs> We love you, Jacqueline! <laughs> <laughs>